Labour's Marxist Brexit Corbyn's MPs plotting deal to keep UK under EU rule, Brexit Minister Steve Baker has accused Labour MPs of trying to frustrate the will of the British people with a blueprint provided by hard-left Greek politician Yanis Varoufakis. The former Greek chief finance minister was the star speaker at an event earlier this week organized by Labour Remainer MPs led by Chukin Amuna where he gave the leftist. Marxist case for Britain remaining in the EU customs union and single market under Brussels rule. The row came as ministers agreed to a Labour demand to publish a flawed and incomplete Brexit analysis after it was leaked to a website. The government also played down claims of a split among ministers after Justice Minister Philip Lee tweeted that Brexit policy had to be driven by evidence in light of the leaked papers. While Downing Street suggested Dr Lee was reprimanded for his comments, Friends of the minister have told the Daily Express that he was congratulated by several fellow ministers for his intervention. Concerns were raised about the direction of Labour Brexit policy when it emerged that Mr Varoufakis, a Marxist Greek academic and politician, had been the main speaker at an event organized by so-called Labour moderates. Varoufakis was a senior member of the far-left Syriza party which was elected in 2015 to stand up to the EU over its debts and economic crisis but infamously surrendered to pressure from the European Commission which led to him being removed from his post. Mr Baker said, It tells you all you need to know that Labour are now turning to a Marxist Brexit to frustrate the will of the British people. The only thing we know for certain about a Labour Brexit is that it would leave us in the worst possible position, taking us back to square one and forcing us to continue making huge payments to the EU. Labour Remainer MP Ian Murray said, If protecting Britain's future prosperity and jobs is a bad thing then we are guilty as charged. In a debate over the publication of the The Impact Papers leaked earlier this week Mr Baker told MPs that an exception was being made because of inaccurate reporting of the contents on a website. Earlier Mrs May rubbished the documents saying they contained a very preliminary analysis that failed to assess the bespoke EU deal she hoped to negotiate with Brussels. She also promised that MPs will get appropriate analysis from the government in time for a Commons vote on her expected deal. Dover MP Charlie Elphick said the papers should be handed to the nearest wastebasket not given to the Brexit committee. He reminded the House that he and other MPs had been persuaded to vote Remain because of Project Fear projections from the Treasury which said up to 800,000 jobs would be lost and GDP would fall by 6.3% which turned out to be false.